Good morning. Good hey morning. Hello. Hey guys, Monday morning, 9.30, actually 9.54. <laughs> <laughs> this is a surprise, right? Uh, coffee with the Charles Davis team. Uh, we're missing one member. Ashley, she is actually out showing houses this morning, knocking it out. So what we uh, wanted to talk about today was uh, what, what do you need to do to prepare your house to get it ready to put it on the market? Mm -hmm. um, you know, what, what are some of the stuff that, you know, we talk about with some of the clients and, you know, Mandy helps uh, set everybody up and kind of get them rolling, you know, get the process rolling so we can get them on every Thursday. Yeah, I would say that probably first thing is you start from the outside and you work your way in. So, I mean, because that's what people are going to see first is the outside of the home. So, so improve the landscaping. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. First of all, cut the grass, cut the, grass. <laughs> cut the bushes, clean everything up, get the kids' toys out of the yard, you know, mm -hmm. limb some trees up. I mean, you know all the things where, you know, when you're riding down the uh, road, you think, man, that's a really nice looking yard. You know, mm -hmm. you kind of want to put yours, you know, looking a little bit like that yard does. Yeah, and if you have, model. like, you know, let's say you have existing flower planters out front, pop some flowers in there, bring a little bit of color to okay. the front yard, um, things like that that can just, you Help know, you stand it out. helps it stand out. Yeah, and it makes it look more appealing to buyers. Yeah. So, um, I mean, and that so that's landscaping, but then there's also the house itself. Yeah, clean it, pressure yeah. wash, wash, clean the gutters, mm -hmm. and then pressure wash the driveway, the side, and everything. Yeah. Get it all, you know, get it all cleaned up. You remember what it shined like the day that you bought the house, so, you know, you want to do all those items to it. Um, I'd say probably the next thing that's most important is, you know, make the needed repairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah if you have that piece of shingle hanging off flapping in the wind, if you've got, you know, siding that... Is but why would we rephrase that? Make the needed repairs. Right. Don't do renovations. Right. Um, renovations, they probably should have been done from day one. That way you could enjoy them for the past 10 years that you've been there. Yeah. You know, you want to do repairs. You want to do stuff like a leaky roof, broken windows, damaged sheetrock, paint. You know, if there's a bunch of handprints on the wall, you know, paint that kind of stuff. I would say painting is probably the cheapest, most uh, valuable thing when it comes to repair. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that yeah. you get the... You get, the, facelift, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you get the odor elimination out of it. Mm -hmm. You get the, uh, the the look of it, the look and feel. It can bring a dated house way up. Mm -hmm. You can take and, it out of the 90s. And way. in all honesty, too, if you're going to take the time to go ahead and repaint, if you're doing a lot of patchwork and you need to paint, choose a neutral paint color. Don't, you know, your favorite color might be red, but you're trying to appeal to the masses. So let's Ray go neutral. Right now. <laughs> yeah. yes. go, go out and look online. I mean, you know, industrial farmhouse is some of the, the newest styles that are out there. Pinterest, so the, yeah. Oh, yeah. We yeah, Pinterest. actually have a great Pinterest, multiple Pinterest boards. So. Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah. The Charles Davis team has a Pinterest page, and so we pin lots of great ideas for decorating your house, for home improvement tips, um, things that you can do. So we have a pretty good informational source already out there that you can utilize to get your home ready to sell. Guys, if you're worried about your wife hurting your back with all these repairs, <laughs> call us. We got a long list of vendors. We yes, can we help do. you out with that yeah. stuff, get you rolling mm -hmm. on it. Because, you know, that, that's some of the biggest fear, too, is when, when we come out and we start talking about what needs to be done in the house, it can be overwhelming. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we, we have people that can tackle all that stuff. Yeah. And I think it's, right it, it's important, too, to note that, you know, one of the first steps that we take as a team when listing a property is that we... Charles comes out and walks the house and says, okay, these are the things that you want to do. And the reason why he does that is because he's a fresh set of eyes. You've lived in the house. You're, you've seen all that stuff, and you've kind of become blind to it and yeah. the condition of things. And having that external set of eyes come in, they're going to see the things that you might otherwise miss. I'm going to look at it through the eyes of a buyer. I mean, yeah. we, we've, we've sold so many houses to so many hundreds and hundreds of buyers mm -hmm. that, you know, we see these things. We yeah. know, I know what they're going to say. You know, when I'm there, I yeah. mean, I take it all in, look at all that stuff and just kind of evaluate it. And the other thing that you not only look at it through the eyes of a buyer, but through the eyes of an appraiser, because yeah. you are a certified appraiser. So you know the things that are going to impact the value. Your repairs. Yeah, yeah, but you're going to know the things that are going to actually bring value because most of the time when you're getting ready to list your house, you're not going to take on some massive renovation to get it ready to sell. You want to do what's needed to get the best value for your home. Yeah, I mean, if the roof is truly wore out, that's something that might need to be done. You mm -hmm. know I mean? Something that's going to really uh, cause you a lot of heartache on a uh, home inspection. Mm -hmm. You know, it might cause you a lot of heartache when the appraiser comes out to do their inspection because different loans, like we talked about last week, you have to meet minimum standards in order for that loan to be created for that property. Mm -hmm. So that's what evaluating the property is. So you want to make sure all that's brought up to that standard. And, you know, I can evaluate that for you while I'm there. Yeah. 
and it helps us in determining the best value to, or the, I'm sorry, the best selling price to set for the house too. Because I mean, obviously we take into account the comparables and what is sold in the area, but it's your home's condition plays a huge factor in that. And so having Charles do the walkthrough at the beginning helps to be able to um, help us set the best price. And I'm thinking too, you know, I mean, make the front door inviting. You know, yeah, a fresh paint job. Mm -hmm. Clean all the cobwebs out. Don't make it look like a scary movie when you walk into it. <laughs> yeah. You know, change the light Because you know you're only using yeah. that side door. Or, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you always yeah. use the, the side door. Or the door that goes into the garage. garage. Yeah. You know? Go actually go to your front door and visit it. And make sure that it's not crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Tons of ideas on Pinterest for that too. All the little welcome signs with the mm -hmm. ship left yeah. in. And the pretty colors too, because mm -hmm. it's kind of you don't really not everybody has just a plain white or black. Your front, front door, door is the first impression of your yeah. house. So you only get one chance to make first impression. Mm -hmm. So you gotta make sure Preach it. that that's done. <laughs> um, I wanna go back to something Taylor said. You said to replace every light bulb. It's bad. Oh, yeah. yeah because yeah. lighting, oh my gosh, nothing is worse than walking into tour a house and you're Turning flipping switches lights. and you're going, oh, okay. Oops. Yeah, I'll get that. It looks like something's damaged. Yeah. There's a light bulb yeah. just out. I mean, it's, it's something that's crazy Little and small, mm -hmm. but it looks like something's damaged. damaged yeah. yeah. And, and there are so many, I know this sounds silly, but like the LED bulbs that actually are lower wattage, yeah, they cost a little bit more, but some of them, they're really bright and that really can change the feel of a home. If you use like the daylight bright bulbs versus the yellow light bulbs. The light. Yeah. Think about the colors of your room. If you use a yellow bulb and it's a tan room, then yeah. it's just going to be like a You're tan room. Like a yeah. bowl of rotten yeah. milk. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yum. So you want to make sure that, you know, gray, grays are really popular right now. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. Gray looks good with a, a slightly tan kind of lighting on it. Mm -hmm. It shows off well. Don't yeah. give it any kind of purple look or. Yeah, there's some bulbs out there that make the gray kind of look purple. So yeah, yeah. And I think aside from we're talking about lighting and um, you know doing the outside repairs and painting to freshen up, um, clean your house. Declutter. De well, de yes. but clean it too yeah. because do the things that you don't normally do. High dusting, cleaning your baseboards, um, actually cleaning your blinds. Ceiling because fans. Ceiling, yeah, ceiling fans. All of those things. Th this kind of goes hand in hand with decluttering too. Yeah. It makes the home the more pet inviting. Balls up. Yes. Put yeah. away the toys, the toys for the pets, the items for the kids, the mm -hmm. items for the pets. It's cool to have a, a room decorated for your kids, but not to have the whole entire house just stroll around it's a, with toys it's like mine is. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah, you kind of walk in Charles's front door and you may or may not trip over some toys. Um, but that's what happens when you have three children yep. under five. So <laughs> you walk in my front door and you trip over a cat toy. So mm -hmm. that's just how it is. Um, but going back to decluttering, I tell people this every time I walk into the house. It's amazing that you've displayed all these photos of your family and that you're proud of your family and all of your family's accomplishments. However, when you're trying to sell your home, you're not selling your family, you're selling your house. <laughs> so take, you know, minimize those pictures. Yes, you can still have some. Yeah. Um, a buyer wants to see themselves in their home, in, in the home that they're looking at. Yes, yeah, so. and so it's easier to envision themselves living there when they're not inundated with how you've lived there. So um, it's just the little things like that make a big difference when we're marketing your home. And you know, our professional photos that we do will turn out much better when the home is cleared of clutter, talking about cleaning um, countertops off so that you have minimal appliances. I mean, it's awesome that you own everything Kitchen Maid has ever invented, but you don't want them all lined up across the counter. Right. So, and we'll send you a complete list whenever we first get signed on. We'll send you a welcome packet and it has all this you know, itemize things about what you need to do for depersonalizing and decluttering. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So, I mean, what else do we need to do? Extra furniture. Get that stuff out of the way because, you know, you're, you're blocking the pathway. Yeah. I mean, you know, you got three recliners. I mean, come on. You yeah. Know, move some of that stuff out of the way. Mm -hmm. Get some of the unwanted China stuff out of the way. You know, th that's some of the stuff that you want to do. Um, we got my mind breaking through. <laughs> 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 A little bit distracting. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, um, so, you know, basically that, that's the main items to take care of. And then this is the biggest thing. And a lot of people don't talk about this. Prepare yourself mentally to sell yeah. your home. Notice I said home, not house. You need to get in your mind that it is just a home. It is just a product being sold. It's really hard emotionally to sell the house that 
you know, maybe you guys got married and that's the first home you came home to. Maybe that's where you brought your first baby home, mm -hmm. you know. There's a lot of memories, Christmas memories. Yeah. Good and bad memories. Maybe. <laughs> you, know, you, you know, who knows? But you really need to prepare yourself mentally to get this done. Yeah. Because, you know, at the end of the day, you're selling a house to somebody else that's going to make it a home and they're going to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. But you need to realize that it is a house that they're buying, not yeah. a home at yeah. that point in time. Focus on your next chapter and where you're headed. Yes, you know? absolutely. Because yeah. if you've made the decision to sell, obviously, you made that decision. You're moving forward. So, learn. Let it go, as Elsa says. And just move forward. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but you know, you have to, like Charles said, it is a mental decision of, okay, I'm moving forward. It's time to start the next chapter. This is what I'm going to do, and and embracing the fact of, okay, this is going to be. It can be a whirlwind process. Um, I know we put one on the market on Thursday, and it's under contract. It was under contract by Saturday. Yeah. So I mean, it it can go that fast, and it's a 30 day close. So, I mean, it's going to be boom, boom, boom. And then we have some properties sometimes that might take a little longer to sell if you're more of a, we have a lot of unique kind of niche properties out there. Um, and those take a little bit longer, but you still have to mentally prepare yourself. Maybe meant niche. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> we, this is an ongoing argument. We've asked Google multiple times. Tomato, tomato. Yeah, whatever. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's niche. It's French. Yeah. Okay, anyway, we're not going there. Um, <laughs> I see a comment. Ooh, I have to scroll forward because I'm pretty sure that comment is from our seller who, yes, we just put under contract on Saturday. Hey, Gina. Hey, girl. Congratulations. Um, so, yeah, just, you know, preparing yourself for the entire process. And the thing, too, is we joke in real estate that we're not, that we kind of have to wear, like, multiple hats and sometimes... It's a psychologist hat, and we're there for you. We will you. talk you off the edge. Yes, we will. <laughs> or we will help we'll just you. say, go ahead, jump. <laughs> <laughs> well, jump right, jump right in and accept that offer. That's yeah. what Charles Well, yeah. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Down right in, huh? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Uh, you're opening yourself up. <laughs> Moving <Time> forward. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you very much for tuning in to our wonderful tips. Please thank you. Comment. Say hi. How you doing, Gina? It's great to see you. I see you. Thank you. You're very welcome. And um, next week we're going to talk about showing your house. So you've basically you've uh, contacted us. We've came out, evaluated it. You've done the repairs. you got everything ready. The sign's out front. Lot boxes on the door. We're ready to rock and roll. Mm -hmm. It's out there now. Scheduling starts. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know we're going to talk about some of the uh, tools that we use, mm -hmm. how we go about showing the house. Uh, you know th things that go on during that process because it is a little bit vague if you've never done it before. So we'll go over that next week. So tune in next week for that, and we appreciate mm -hmm. you guys spending time with us this Monday. Yay! See you. Hi. See you guys. Hi. Later. I meant to say bye, not hi. Okay. <laughs> bye. <laughs>